one. All right, folks, here we are. Welcome back to the channel. Me and uh, Big T just got off the river. And uh, so I wanted, so last year I ended up sailing 10 boats. And you may say, what in your world? You sold 10 boats and, and yes. Uh, and I kind of want to do a segment of all the boats I've loved before. And I'm only going to put in the ones that I've loved. So the ones that I've hated, I'm not even going to mention. But uh, so when I first got started uh, kayaking, it was really just by accident. Uh, it was, we were working in Marion. My, my uncle was riding just a little place one uh, the Catawba down there and uh, said you want to go and we said heck yeah it was hot so we went and played in the river and I liked it my first boat was wreck boats and that was good and when we rode those for I don't know six eight months something like that and then I know I wanted to do whitewater and I know the wreck boat was not the boat for it if you think that a recreational boat that you're going to be able to run significant white water you're wrong uh you will break the boat no doubt about it if you want to go and test this theory out just take go to walmart and buy you a boat and take it to wilson's and start making laps and see how long it lasts <laughs> it won't last very long and you can tell uh the, the white water boats are significantly heavier. Most of your wreck boats will weigh 28, 29 pound, 30 pound. Pretty well every one of these boats weighs 50 pounds. So a lot more plastic. But I knew pretty early on um, the, the boat for me was going to end up being a creaker. Um, I just knew that. I mean, I, I tried. Uh, I had a couple of uh, slicey boats. Still got a slicey boat. It's not going into the boats I love, but um, I learned how to roll in a, in a, a slicey boat. And, um, but uh, I found this right. So, so here's the thing. You don't have to give a fortune for boats. If you're patient, if you want to try a boat out and you're patient, now you can't try a brand hammer new model out, but if, if, if you'll just wait a little bit and look around a little bit. Now this one was broke when I got it, but I gave a hundred bucks for it. And absolutely loved this boat. Um, was not the biggest fan of the, the back band in it. The seat was comfortable. The thigh hooks were, were good. Um, I learned how to roll this boat pretty good. So this was my very first boat I loved was a Wright Magnum 80. Then, moving on, I got to, to looking around, researching a little bit, and Liquid Logic Stomper. And it was great now the difference between the right is the right does have some 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 rails and some edges on it uh not much but right basically right where you see it but you you know certain things is easier when you've got a little bit of edge it firing is a little bit easier um but if you've got too much edge then you'll get hung up on rocks and stuff but the liquid logic is basically a uh, it's a it's a displacement hull you've got not much edge at all it's basically almost round but it's not completely i think the half is a little rounder but this one was the first newer that wasn't broke when i bought it boat <laughs> uh, was electric logic stomper and me and lee both I had two stompers. I sold both of them. Um, this is my buddy's stomper here. Then the next boat 
that I went from the Stomper was I went to a Delta 88 that falls in between the Stomper and, and the Piranha stuff. So I stayed with Liquid Logic for, for quite some time. Um, got a couple of free rides, uh, different things. But the Delta 88, now the Delta 88 I still have. I'm, I'm going to put it up for sale. Um, well, I had it up for sale and a guy wanted it, but so I took it down and, and he didn't end up getting it. So I've got to put it back up for sale. But Because I, well, like I said, I sold 10 boats last year, so I, I had a little collection going on. So the difference between the Delta 88 and the Stomper is the Delta 88 is just a little bit more nimble. Um, it's a newer design, so it's it's a little bit more nimble. Some people don't like the Delta 88. Uh, I like the boat. It took good care of me. The Stomper took good care of me. The only thing I can say about those boats is that if you get stuck in a hole, it's going to be real hard to get out, and you may end up having to to roll up and just wait a minute and see if it flushes you out and then roll back up. Um, they don't want to come out of a, 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 a grabby hole. They don't want to come out of very good. So <clears throat> then about that time, so I've only been whitewater kayaking for about two, two years, two and a half years, something like that. I look, I look at my brother for yes or no because I don't really remember so about that time um, the scorch come out and I was like wow which I had been looking at, at, at some piranha stuff and I went to NOC and, and rented a scorch and the boat was incredibly fast it was like riding a motorcycle I mean you could just you could you could lean up and the, the thing would carve through the river without even engaging the paddle I mean you know if you had a little bit of speed build up you could just lean it I mean the edges are sharp on the thing similar to the ripper um, I like the scorch but for me I wouldn't want it on really hard technical stuff because I I did you know catch my tail in now i only rode it one day so you know the scorch i believe is a great boat um but i ended up finding a uh and i, I like the ripper the half slice i ended up finding a, a used ripper for a good deal so i bought the ripper and <clears throat> i watch a lot of boat reviews from alex burham uh wade harrison matt wallen uh, those guys do a great job of giving you a, a look and, and a description and a, a feel for what the boat's going to be. And uh, absolutely love that ripper. Now, it whooped me at the Akoi a few times. I did get, you know, that tail end will catch you. you got to be up on the stick when you're riding the ripper. Um, rode some manky stuff in it. Uh, you can ride some manky stuff in it. Um, you can definitely come out of a hole with the edges in that ripper. Um, so, now I can't, you know, do tailies or, or, I mean, I can, basically I can come up and turn over on my head. That's my trick. Uh, and I only do that if there's a whirlpool. Up, over on my head. So, <clears throat> I had been looking at the scorches and by this time the dagger codes had come out and i was very curious with the codes couldn't find one couldn't buy one you couldn't even steal one um and i was just i found i ended up buying two mock no uh large mock nose and I absolutely love the Piranha Machno. It is a very good boat, very predictable. It has, uh, it does have a, a really soft. I mean, it's a, there's an edge 
but it's it's not aggressive and generally don't don't catch up on anything um the boat is not as fast as a ripper but pretty darn fast for a, for a, for a creek boat lots of volume um it boosts great um and it surfs uh really nice I, I mean and that's that's what i basically do we run creeks and rivers and and, um, and surf and play in holes and uh, that's about the extent of it. I mean, that's what we do. Um, so, and the reason I ended up with two of them, I bought one. And then two weeks later, there's another one that's brand hammer new. The guy's rode it three times. He wants $700 for it. So, I went and bought it. Um, and uh, sold the other one that was a little bit more used. So then... So I couldn't get a, a, a code I had tried. I just give up. I just said, well, heck, I don't guess I'll get a code. I'll just ride my mock. No, I like it anyway. So the other day, I had went to buy a used boat. Another one. I don't know why. I've got a problem. I'm an addict. <laughs> I need help. But because we got a big camping trip coming up, and it had a... a a dry hatch in the back with a bulkhead in it so I wanted to get a you know get me one for the camping trip so I stopped at this place to get a pair of gloves um, and they said well we got new codes in and I said well I doubt you got the color I wanted because I done made my mind up if I got a code it was going to be the vapor color I wasn't getting the code if it wasn't the vapor I don't like the, 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 the design thing. Oh, yeah. Let me back up just one second. Before this, in between the ripper, I bought a mamba. I love the mamba, too. It's not in the picture, but there was a mamba in amongst it, and I loved it. But I liked I liked the uh, mockno just a teensy bit better than the mamba. Now... I've had some chances. I've run Wilson's in this, Cane Creek in it, Rock Creek in it. I run the toe here several times in it. And I, as of right now, this is my all-time favorite boat, the code. It's also the newest. It is. It was <laughs> brand hammer new. Now, you remember, I've showed a video. I didn't have any scratches. She's got a few scratches now, but you're not going to run Wilson. Listen, a kayak is meant to be scratched. Um, there's stickers when you get them brand new that says, scratch me. But the rail on this thing, I love it. Uh, you can engage it. You know, you, you get over just a little bit, engage that rail. It tracks good. It comes out of holes good. Um, now... It does seem to, it's not like a, a scorch with those types of edges. It, I can't come out of a hole the same as I could with the ripper. But um, this thing is, it's, it's great. The, the outfitting, Dagger definitely has the most comfortable outfit. If you want outfitting that will last for 20 years, Get a liquid logic. You'll never wear it out. The piranha is good. It's not as tough. It's a little more comfortable to me than the liquid logic. Just a little bit. This, though, is super comfortable. I wouldn't say it's like laying in a lazy boy, but it's definitely very comfortable. So, but one thing that I have found is this. As I learned to ride this boat, and then learned to ride this boat, all these newer boats, they do have some technology in them and some design, you know, from learning of this would work a little better and this would work a little better. This is the, the latest, the 2022 
you know, I mean, they done this a couple years ago. They started working on it, but of course, the boats are, are better. But if you can ride whatever it is you've got, just work with that. If you can't get another boat, just work with that. Just keep riding, just keep surfing, just keep playing. And when you save up some money, you'll get you the boat you want, if, if that's what you want to do, if you want to wait. You know, I'm already seeing not very many, but one or two codes come up for sale. They're about the same price as they was new, but people went, went out and bought them and didn't really like them all that good. But these are all the boats that I've loved. Uh, we could do a whole other segment on the boats that I've not liked at all, but we won't, we won't bore you with that. Anyway, I hope you like this. And, and I'm, like I said, I am not an expert kayaker by any stretch of the imagination. Um, intermediate at best. And this boat does take care of you pretty, pretty good. Um, there's been some times I've had this thing way up on edge. The secondary stability is very, very nice in it. Um, you know, but do learn how to roll. Learn how to brace, low brace, high brace. Um, and just get to the river and, and have fun. So, I hope you've liked it. Uh, subscribe, share, like, dance, laugh, high five, whatever you want to do. Give me a thumbs up if you like. But uh, we love you and you mean it. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye now.